All right guys, so on this week's video, we're gonna take a quick look inside of one of my bow building workshops. Had a couple of great guys come and spend the week with me and build some amazing two-piece takedown Osage self bows. So listen, we, uh, we just got done with our day five of our bow building clinic here uh, with Clay Hayes. And I asked him if we could go ahead and maybe record something for him because we felt so strongly about the, uh, the workshop. I'm not so, such a great shot or uh, such a good hmm. bow builder, um, but I've built one bow and I thought I knew a little something, uh, but I wanted to improve myself. So and we I, found out we didn't really know a lot, <laughs> we, so we needed, to, needed some advice. But uh, Yeah, we learned a lot. <laughs> we learned a great week. We, we, took, we, we, we built uh, takedown bows, and it was a five-day process, but it was fantastic. One thing that was really striking is that uh, Jay and I, we started at different points in our bow building um, during this workshop, and we gradually caught up with each other. But whether we were at different points or we were right next to each other, um, Clay would explain it so well. He wouldn't get tired of explaining it to you, and he would, he, he would use the same terms that he would use with Jay that he would use with me. If Jay was ahead, he would explain it really methodically to Jay, and then... I wouldn't catch it all because I'd be at another point in the bow building and then he'd come over to me and explain it to me it just as methodically. There was no loss of information. So while we were here, I was I had the opportunity to really make an amazing bow. Um, I'll show it to you guys just so you don't have to read about it. It's not as large as I want it to be, but uh, it's, it's I'm a little bit overbowed with it, but uh, you know, it's almost... No, that's not it. Um, so that's for my daughter. And this is the bow that I made. Um, it is an amazing bow. It's got a, here's the top limb. It's got an amazing snakiness. Uh, Clay had a really fantastic selection of staves to choose from. He's very giving with them. He basically starts off with the idea of take any stave you want, we'll work with it, and uh, I'll work you through it. Um, one amazing thing from this bow, and I really needed this because uh, I live overseas, and I can't take a long bow like this, you can imagine. Uh, so this is a two-piece takedown. It will travel with me pretty much everywhere I go. If you're in a situation where you really want to learn more about bow building, but you can't really squeeze the time to come out and spend a week here learning how to build bows one-on-one, uh, -on -one, there's another great resource, and that's my Patreon site. I've got a lot of exclusive bow building content there that takes you through actually the process of building one of these two-piece takedowns, along with a bunch of other information, selecting staves, heat bending, um, goes through the entire bow building process, um, talks about different woods, lots of great information. So uh, I would encourage you to check that out. And for the guys that are already signed up at Patreon, really appreciate that. You guys are amazing. There's nothing I can say about this bow that I, I don't like. It's really, really close. It's really close to center shot. We've already shot a bunch of times with it, and uh, the bow is better than I am. It makes me look better than I really am. Um, I've taken a couple shots with these guys. I feel like it should probably stop because uh -huh. I've ended on some pretty high notes. Um, but this is going to be uh, a bow that I have for the rest of my life. And this is the one that I made. Also a takedown, uh, not quite as snaky as Chris's, but shoots equally as good <laughs> and just a, really an awesome shooter. And uh, I can't even believe we did it in five days. Yeah. It was really great. And you know, another thing, I'll just say this. Um, by the way, pay, Clay didn't pay us to say these things. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, we, made our, we made our bows and Jay and I didn't bring arrows with us, so we asked him if we could make some arrows here. He charged us the tiniest, tiniest, minute amount for uh, some really nice uh, bamboo shafts. And, uh, and then he brought us through the entire process of making arrows that were weighted for our bows. Fletched them, cut turkey feathers. Yep. This shop and this, uh, this experience is worth every cent that you pay. Um, I'm by no means swimming in money, but when I came here, there was I, I was astounded by how much I learned in such a little time, 
and we both ended up, Jay and I both ended up with bows that we absolutely loved. Um, I thought I knew a little bit more than I did when I came here, and I, I just realized so many things as I was here. I, I sitting here thinking I know how to make a bow, and or at least a little bit, and as we were going around, I just saw how much uh, information Clay has. Uh, one thing that you don't realize about Clay uh, in his videos is his depth of knowledge. He's been building bows for a lot longer than you think, and his, his shop is littered with bows. And every time you ask him about something, he's already done that two or three times, and he doesn't talk out of his knowledge base. If he hasn't done something, he's going to tell you he hasn't done it. Another thing that was really surprising is uh, his support staff, which uh, consists of Liz, his wife. <laughs> and how well we were taken care of and fed for the week and uh, just the... Yeah, Clay said that there was going to be a room and board here and we didn't really know what to expect <laughs> with that. We were like, oh, okay, it could be anything. Um, it was fantastic. We had a, a, a great setup to sleep, um, our own little apartment and uh, it, breakfast, lunch if we wanted it and dinner. We had blueberry pancakes this morning ridiculous real maple syrup venison omelets and yeah. but it was fantastic and uh, we, we were never left wanting for food I love doing these workshops because it allows me not only to do something that I love to do but you get to meet some amazing people and uh, build lifelong friendships if you're interested in learning more about the bow building workshops you can just go to twistedstave.com and get on the bow building page. There's a page on there that uh, shows you some videos, some old photos, uh, and just kind of gives you a description of what you can expect during the course. Uh, we take care of you from the time you get here till the time you leave, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You got a great place to stay. You got your own little kind of rustic cabin, and uh, you kind of have your own space. So if this is something you might be interested in, Shoot me an email or just get on the webpage and check it out. And just uh, maybe there's something there for you.